Hello and welcome to a video I didn't think I was going to do <laughs> and I'm kind of nervous about. I'm gonna make myself puke. Um, no, I really, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but one of you in the Discord group asked me to. And as it turns out, all it takes is one of you to ask me to do it and then I place orders, okay? So just so you know, <laughs> here we are. Um, stepping outside our comfort zone because today in this little bag right here, we are gonna be unboxing, trying on, swatching, I don't know, um, all things She Glam Harry Potter. It is a She Clam, She Clam, She Clam. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty clammy right now. <laughs> a She Glam Harry Potter collab. And if you don't know that is makeup, you would have seen from the thumbnail, the little imagery we put up there um, to sell you things. <laughs> I'm nervous um, and we'll get into that. So before we do, if you're new here and you want to be a part, you, of a community that believes that weird is wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button right here and be notified every time there's a new weird video and we make ourselves nauseous. Okay, let's get to opening this bag and looking at these goodies. So for starters, um, this is She Glam, that's in here, makeup. Um, from the parent company is she in I will state right now um, I'm not an absolutist in any form or fashion I used to be um, when it came to where I purchased what I bought all the things um, as a very judgmental person um, and I I, I, I I just wouldn't really normally buy from she in but again I'm not that black and white anymore um, so here we are, <laughs> Shein is the parent company. I will say I did look at the Shein drop of Harry Potter stuff and I wasn't a fan. Did not care for a single item. So you won't be seeing any Shein drops from me. Um, but we are gonna try out makeup and I never thought I would be doing this. Here, let me just empty the bag. I'm slightly nervous. Who sends makeup in a, um, what are these? These thin mailer bags? I, I mean, I could tell you, I could feel that they are in a very thick, like, um, not styrofoam. Um, I do need a haircut. Should we do that right now? <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm nervous for a lot of reasons. Number one, um, I'm hoping everything's intact. So <laughs> I did buy the whole line. That's a lot of items. So here's what we got here. <laughs> um, but I did buy the whole line. The other reason I'm nervous is you're gonna be getting a hot take from somebody that doesn't really do a lot with makeup, okay? I'm not a big fan. I've worn makeup throughout my life. My mom taught me how to, you know, put on makeup when I was a little girl. And and then I just um, taught myself. I went for periods of time not wearing it at all just to get used to my own flesh and be good with where I am. But I also like expressing myself. So I feel like there's a fine balance. Um, but when it comes to makeup, I'm shaking everything. I'm just shaking. Um, I, try, I even tried to get fancy here. Look at this new shirt. Like just to make myself feel like I'm capable of doing this. Um, so if you're not a big makeup person, uh, welcome to the group where we try new things. So thank you for the person, you know who you are, in the Discord group that asked me to do this. Um, cause it's taking me out, 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 out the side <laughs> of my comfort zone. Um, cause as far as makeup, I, if you don't notice, I generally, I do a little bit of blush. I only do cream, um, because it's more natural to me as it blends into your skin because I am a ghost when it comes to my fleshy color. And eyeshadow, mascara, I don't take eyeshadow up high. I just don't like these big exaggerated looks. And um, I don't wear any foundation. I don't wear concealer. I don't like things on my flesh. And to be honest, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> However good you are, I can still tell you are wearing concealer. And I just, it's not my thing, but I'm a big, person on expression. So if it is your thing and that's what you want to do and that's we have, how you feel good, then friggin' do it, okay? I was gonna say something else. All right, so we are going to unbox these things. Let me get them out of the packaging first. So this is an example of what we're dealing with here because we did not get the, uh, the OG box that sold out. We bought them individually. It's okay. It's just gonna be tossed. It's just paper. I'm gonna do the most intimidating to me thing first. So first up, we've got some eyeshadows. And like I said, I purchased all of them. So the um, first one, the first house, well, that I picked up is Slytherin. Here's the outside of the box. And these are eyeshadow palettes. So it does come with four, I was gonna say palettes. Wow, that'd be impressive. 
Um, four things of eyeshadow. I'm not normally a huge fan of palettes, and yet that's mostly what I have because I would prefer to have exactly what I use. Palettes, sometimes I waste things. I hate that. Um, but I will say most of these I feel like I could use, and I was wanting to get more outside the box. I wanted to do some blue for my other channel, blue for Ravenclaw, green for Slytherin when we start getting out some Halloween stuff. Um, but here is the front. It is even elevated here, which is really nice. These little corners, almost like a metallic situation. And then Slytherin She Glam, how oh, the plastic already came out, it's ready to go. This is the one that I feel like, I was gonna say is the most wearable. I feel like they all are except one. So maybe you think, sit and think which one you think is the most wearable. Cause um, yeah, I think it's different for everybody. So I do naturally use a black. Um, so that definitely pops out. So we have Ambition, which is a silvery. We will do swatches, I promise. I know that's a thing in the makeup world. I used to watch some people, well, I didn't used to. I've watched a, a handful, like in my life, of makeup videos. Um, mostly when I bought a palette and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> and they swatch things. So we're gonna get fancy, you know? We got the, sh the see-through sleeves, so we're gonna swatch it. So we have Ambition. Cunning is this um, glittery one. I do love a glittery look. I do tend to do a shimmer of some kind. I stick mostly with purples because it goes really well with hazel eyes. Um, then we have Destiny, which has this little um, raised snake on it. So I'm gonna guess each house has that. And then Leadership down here, this brown. So I definitely can see myself using, the brown is the only one that I would like wonder what to do with, but we're gonna play around. Um, so, actually, what am I putting that away for? Let's swatch it. Okay, here we go. What are we? Ambition. There's that one. I like that. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's a nice, like, uh, see-through, mostly glitter, um, very silvery look. Okay, we are going to be washing our hands a lot in this one. Let's do leadership right here. That one's very soft and buttery. <laughs> Is that a thing? And we're just using our middle finger right here. There's that one. And then we have Cunning. Oh, she's rough. I'm gonna pat, wow, she's pigmented. Holy moly, we might go lighter on that one, okay. Are we ready? Ooh, that is bright. Look at that. And then we've got Destiny. I'm a little nervous to ruin the snake right now, okay? We'll just give him a little pat like he's a monster book. Whoa, boy. <laughs> that is some blackity, black, black right there. Okay, so there is the Slytherin palette. I really like the green. I just am attracted to shimmer. I do use um, black on a regular basis. In fact, I do um, a blend of black and a shimmery purple as my eyeshadow, and then a little bit of black as an eyeliner. I don't use actual eyeliner. I can't trust myself. You will not be seeing me do any wings anytime soon, okay? It's also not my jam, but here we go. There's Slytherin. Very cool. Let me know if you like that palette, my fellow Slytherins. It is my second house, so I can call it my house, right? Okay, might as well do the next house, which is my first and main house, Gryffindor. Gryffindor! So there's the outside. Let's pull that out. I assume she's gonna look similar. Here is the front of the Gryffindor house, so you could see the, the raised. I mean, I don't generally care very much what the outside of my eyeshadow palette looks like, but it is really pretty and has like a nice regal look to it. And let's open her up. I'm gonna get the plastic out first. I was nervous of these things being broken. So, so far, so good. Here's the inside of the Gryffindor palette. This one's really pretty. Um, like I said, I mostly use like purpley colors, so, but I feel like this one I could really work with. So let's work it. Oh, I didn't read them off. I'm already dabbing. Okay, <laughs> do we dab? <laughs> All right, so the first one, is daring, which I already got real excited and, and dared my finger right in there. And then bravery, we know us Gryffindors are brave. It's the one thing I feel like I can say I sometimes am. Um, determination is the red color and it's a, a matte color. I'm trying to see if there's any shimmer in there. The brave is the only one, no, that's not true. The courage, which is a brown color. It's got a little bit of a reddish, underneath, but it has a very, very slight shimmer. So we'll see how that looks when on. So let's go ahead and swap the Daring. Swap? Swap it? <laughs> like we're getting booked here. Okay, here's Daring. Okay, and then Bravery is the shimmer color. Let's do Bravery. That's pretty. And then Determination. We are rubbing that line real good. He's a cutie. I like the raised 
um, house on there. These are really, really pigmented. Here we go with the red. Hard to do when I'm on the other side of the camera here. And then what do we do? Courage. So this is the one with a tiny bit of shimmer. Let's see if we see any shimmer there. So that is House Gryffindor. Those are really pretty. There is definitely shimmer in that one kind of brown color. I'm not sure if you can see it real well. This one here, I forget what it's called. So there's all the colors. I would say this color here is a little outside of my comfort zone. You probably could use it as a highlight. I do do a light yellowish color on the corners of my eye and a little on my brow bone. That's as fancy as we get. Otherwise, I know nothing about highlights and low lights and all the lights. I just use natural light, okay? House three is Hufflepuff. This is the one, it's funny. Um, I watched one like proper makeup person um, cover it. I think it was a short I saw. And she said, oh, this is the most wearable look. Well, when I saw the Hufflepuff one, it's the most out of my comfort zone for sure. And yet it's, it's very natural a palette. Um, and maybe that's why, because I do tend to go for a black and purple and um, darker colors. So here is that palette up close. Oh, and also each one says Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, it says the house in a shiny color, if you care about that. So what have we got here? Trustworthy is this one right here. We have hard work over here. Putting in some hard work right now. Um, humility is this kind of orangey color and patience is the brown color. So let's swatch of these right on the flush. Trustworthy, so that's like a shimmery. These are very soft. I'm not getting a lot of like dusty situation. That's pretty. I kind of want to pair that with the other one. We'll do that in a second because it's pretty close. Hard work, it's almost like a peachy color. Um, like I said, I don't use a lot of mattes. This is a matte color. And there is that one. That is very pretty. And then humility. We've got right, yeah. Very pigmented, that one. Can we clear this finger off? And then patience. So it looks like each one of them has kind of a brownish color. So here is patience. Oh, we didn't get enough of a swatch. I didn't have enough patience with this one. Here we go. So there is all of Hufflepuff. Oh, the shimmery ones really get me, okay? This one, this um, yellowy one, that's the one that makes me uncomfortable, okay? I just don't know, I already have a bit of yellow in my skin tone that I need to pull more of that out, so. Um, but we'll see, but I like the trustworthy. Actually, while we're at it, there was a gold color in Gryffindor. I want to see how similar it is. So the trustworthy and the bravery. We've got these two on the outside. This one's a little more shimmery, so let's kind of show you paired together. This is more of like a flecky, such a more flex to it. Um, so can we, do we have room on the fingers here? There is a difference, there is a definite difference. This one's more of an orangey color on the Gryffindor one. And this one's more of a gold color, which is really interesting. So there you are if you're kind of curious how different those are. Okay, last but not least in the palettes is Ravenclaw. This one really excites me. Let's open her up. It partly excites me because I have another channel that is all about a little blue alien. So I wanted to use some more blue eyeshadow. I actually don't use any blue eyeshadow. Here is looking, there's that top. We have a checkered, it says Ravenclaw. And here is the palette. So I think we have a similar, let me get up close and personal here. Um, we had a silver one in Slytherin, so I'll be sure to pair that one and see how different it is. Uh, but we've got Wisdom right here. It's a very pale, um, I, I would say skin tone, but it depends on your skin tone, obviously. Color, Curiosity, that one's interesting. Mostly just a silver shimmer. So we've got at least two like definite shimmers in here. And then Wit is the, Shimmery blue right here. And was that cre creativity? Creativity over here. It's kind of more of an aqua color and it's a definite matte. So it looks like each palette, if I am correct, has two mattes and two shimmers. And then at least the Gryffindor um, has a little bit of a shimmer in the matte. So that's a thing, right? I know makeup. Let's swatch this puppy. 
Let's do wisdom. Very buttery soft. Here is wisdom. That's very close to my skin tone. And then I'm going to do curiosity, that silvery color. I'm giving a good rub. <laughs> Sorry for flipping you off every time we do this. Whoo, she is shiny. Oh my goodness. The niffler in me is very, very excited. I like that one. And then actually I'm gonna leave room so we can do the one that I saw in Slytherin and compare. So let's just leave a little bit of room there. Oh no, we didn't do enough. I'm like so afraid of using it all up, just showing it. Unless this one's not quite as pigmented, which works for me. Look at that, it has really pretty. And then come back to this one, creativity. We've got that eagle embellished, embellished, raised on there, the matte color. So here is this one. Woo, the mattes are very pigmented, um, but just in general they are. So there is Ravenclaw, that is a really pretty palette. I'm very excited by this one. And then let me do, so Slytherin has Ambition and Ravenclaw has Curiosity. They are both silvers on the outside here. I want to put the Ambition, if I can clear off my finger, next to the Curiosity. So this is the Slytherin one. Let's see how it pairs. Oh, excuse me. I think you need a little bit more on the Slytherin one, which I personally prefer. Are we getting that on there? They're pretty darn similar. I would say you need a little bit more on the Slytherin one, which kind of works for me. And this one's a little more buttery on the Ravenclaw one, but there they are together. So if you're looking for a subtle one, you can even use this on your cheeks if you wanted to. Those are the palettes. Okay, so far I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with how they apply. I'm really impressed with the display. The next item is the one that I was the most excited by because it is a kind of item that I do wear on the regular. And it is a lip gloss and it comes in this gorgeous packaging. It's super soft, by the way. Like the first thing I noticed when I opened it up was how soft it was, but it's that almost classic advanced potion making vibe that they're going for. Um, the subtle science and exact art classes. Uh, potions, it says. So there it is. And inside should be four different lip glosses. And I'm really curious to see what the actual differences are because the website didn't really give me a clear um, understanding of that. But look at how cute this is. I mean, you can see, I can partially see. What do we got going on here? Ooh, I like those designs over there. The bottles are really, really cute. Bewitching Brews Lip Gloss Set. So in this set, we have four. We have Felix Felicis, Polyjuice Potion, Amortentia, and Drought, Drought, Draft, Draft. <laughs> it's a living death. I mean, we'd be having droughts all over the place, so maybe that's why it's on my mind, okay. Um, really, really cute art, really cute display. This is one of the things where the packaging is actually like, oh, you know, maybe I'll leave it out. I don't know, it says She Glam on it, I probably won't. Super cute. There was another brand that come, in, come out, that come out, it'd be coming at you with some Harry Potter stuff. I can't remember what it was, like ColourPop or something, and I didn't care for it. Um, but the just the aesthetic of this, and so far the, the actual application is really nice. So, so, so many so's. Let's take a look. We've got, and I will say I did order a second one of these, right? Yeah, I ordered a second one because I was trying to get myself. So we wanted to get some extra luck because I was so nervous. Um, but I needed to get myself to 50 bucks because um, the coupons that were there just dropped me below free shipping and they didn't really help out. So let's try Felix Felicis. Actually, let's just take them all out. I'll show you up close and then we'll swatch them. So here is, we've got this cute little situation. Here's a little tassel. Here's Felix Felicis. And it's like a gold color, as you would expect of Felix Felicis. I love the topper, even that gold line there, really cute. <laughs> then we have Polyjuice Potion. Same kind of front, different color. And then there's the green color. Does it say anything else? Magic Elixir, okay. Amortentia, one would expect that one to be red, and it is. And there it is on the back. And these are gonna be super shimmery, so I'm excited. I like a shimmer. And the draft of the living dead is here. Same kind of look, but a purpley back. So let me show you the backs of all of them, kind of get 
the whole shebang. There they are. I'm shaking here. Wow, the glitter is on the fritz. So if you couldn't tell, actually, we do have a bit of a difference. With the Felix Felicis and the Polyjuice Potion, there's a lot more um, glittery action going on. Whereas these have a little more of a matte look, if you can't tell with the purple and red there. Not seeing as much glitter. So let's see how these apply. Let's do Felix Felicis. I'm gonna do a swatch there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she's like yellowy. And I'm pumping actually there's not that much of a difference, but just a subtle difference. So it uh, unscrews right there. And this is the draft of the living dead. I don't want to use too much. Um, the little applicator is really nice. <laughs> um, I don't know why that excited me so much. So you might not be noticing too much of a difference, but this is the one that's going to have a glitter and the other one is not. Let's do Polyjuice Potion. We will rotate glitter and not glitter. Ooh, there is a touch of a green color. So we'll see if this comes across in the video here. So I am noticing kind of a touch of a yellow color here and green. And I am noticing, well, I'm noticing a bit of a red even though that was purple. So here's the red one. We've got Amortensia. I feel like you really can't go wrong with any of them. They're pretty similar, except the Amortensia definitely has a red tint to it. So there's differences, they're just really subtle. Okay, so in order, we have Felix Felicis, Giraffe of the Living Dead, Polyjuice Potion, and Amortensia. So you might be able to tell there are differences. The Amortensia stands out the most, um, but uh, Polyjuice Potion does as well. And I'm, I'm noticing the yellow in the Felix Felicis, so I kinda like that there's differences. I'll try on one of them at the end, on my lips. And we have two more items. Okay, let's get into this thing. What is this even? I don't know, but it's adorable. It is a magic, magic? <laughs> Um, it is a Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. It comes in this box here, this purple box. Looking at cauldron. And there's gonna be a little cauldron-y shaped thing inside. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Oh, look at that. That is cute. Did I say that enough? So it is a cauldron shaped. Don't ask me what a lip mask is. Does it like plump up your lips? Does it help your lips be more lippy? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what do we say? Does it say it on here? As a budding witch or wizard, you'll want to bring this magic cauldron everywhere you go. Um, our cauldron lip mask features a light lavender color that applies transparent on the lips for a gloss-like sheen. So it's just a fancy version of a lip gloss is what I'm picking up. Plus this special brews ultra hydrating meadow foam seed oil formula nourish nourishes lips over time. Okay, we're getting a nourishing. It's extra fancy, this one. It really is. It's very, very cute. So we've got this cauldron. I'm definitely picking up on the lavender. I don't know if you can see it. I can. And then there's a little bit of a design on the base right here. I don't think we're picking up on it. But what's really cool is this top has a little drip effect, like it is a cauldron. How cute is that? And it comes with a little spatula, a little spoon to stir the cauldron. Okay, so does it unscrew? It unscrews. And then, oh, well, that's interesting. She done come out there. So how does this work? Here is the inside, very lavendery. Oh, lavender brown right there. <laughs> um, how do we work? Oh, that's like a, a gel. There's something very satisfying about that right there. So we put it on our lips. Hydrate them lips. Let's get up close and personal here. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Excuse me, my Skelligro over here is like, he shooketh. It goes on very nicely. Mm, it smells nice. It does have a little bit of a, um, I know some people don't like, what is it called? A stickiness to it, just a little bit of that. I'm gonna take it off so that we can try some others on. And the last item that we have is a lipstick. The last time I wore a lipstick is maybe never. Um, maybe for like a cosplay, an outfit of some kind. 
I don't wear lipstick. Um, I just don't. I wear lip gloss, sometimes a little lip tint. But the reason that I picked out this one is I'm pretty sure it comes out a little more transparent. And it is, if you can't tell, a Herbology themed lipstick. We gotta take it out because I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. All right, here it is. This one's really cute. It's a green look because we've got Herbology. Look how pretty that is. I feel like that's really prepping me um, for the Halloween time. And yes, have we got some content coming at your eyeballs. How cute is that? So we got like a Herbology pattern, little plants. We got some mandrakes, um, what I presume are dirigible plums. And then let's open her up. So when I first saw it, um, it terrified me because <laughs> it is green. We're not showing it off here. There we go. Look at the shimmer on that sucker. Holy moly. Now, if this actually were to apply just like this, I probably would not have thought it. Um, but it does not. So you know what? Let's do this thing. Let's get real close. Well, let's get real close. That's too close. That applies really nicely. It like changes color. Oh, I like the shimmer. It's got some like green flecks in it, which is very, which is very fitting for Herbology. I like that. I almost wish I got a second one of those. It feels nice. The glitter doesn't like stand out too much. Um, as far as being annoying, you know? So, you know what? I'm not gonna do any full looks in this video. I'm sorry. We might do some shorts, some shorts, a short. Now, let's get into favorites and then I will test a few things. Um, I think my favorite, it's hard to say favorites, I like all of them. But the one that I really wanna try on is weirdly Ravenclaw. <laughs> um, and I say that because that's the house I feel the least connected to, like my own personality. Um, Yet the friends that I seem to make end up being Ravenclaws or Hufflepuffs. So there you go. Um, but I really like the blues in there and I think like, I can use it for both channels. The Hufflepuff one really intimidates me, but I really like the gold. And the Slytherin one I'm really, really excited about um, because it's got that black. I always need to use a black. That's a nice highlight color. Um, and then that green is really pretty. Um, and then Gryffindor, that just feels really classy, these colors and I feel fairly comfortable using them. But I think I wanna try the blue like right now. So let's try the blue and then we'll try one of the lip glosses, okay? All right, I'm gonna try the blue color. It's not coming on crazy strong, which I appreciate. Can we do this on top of purple? Um, maybe I'll just do one eye so you can see the difference. I went for, I go for more subtle. So tell me if you can tell the difference here on the Blue is gonna be over on this side. I added a little bit of silver, but I've got the purple underneath. So um, you're gonna see a little bit of purple, which gives it like a holographic look, I feel like. You tell me what you think. And then let's try, should we try the red one? That really takes me out of my comfort zone here. Some Amortensia. When things get too red, it doesn't work for me and my skin tone. That is a really subtle. I think my favorite lip product is going to be this Herbology lip lipstick, which really surprises me. It goes on very nicely, um, really smooth. It doesn't feel like lipstick that can feel really um, sticky to me and like almost permanent. <laughs> I might use both of them. So I like that one. I like pretty much all of the palettes. Really, really like this blue. All right, that is a wrap on the She Glam Harry Potter collab. We had the eyeshadow palettes, we had the lip gloss, the lip mask. What a cutie that was. Um, the lipstick. Is that it? The lipstick? I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with the packaging. I'm really impressed with the application and the colors. It's very, very pigmented. Um, so just go a little more subtle if you're like me and you just want that little pizzazz without being uh, <laughs> in your face. Um, but yeah, let me know. Have you got this? Um, what did you think? What was your favorite palette? What are your favorite things? What'd you think of the packaging? I'd love to know um, and be kind to me. This is very out of my box, but thank you for recommending it to me because I like getting outside of my box occasionally and trying new things. And I really liked trying this. Um, but until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you next video. Bye.